Hey guys, I wanna bring you along today as I can some cabbage. So I hope you stay with me and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, today I'm gonna to cut up some cabbage for canning. I've got plenty of kraut, so I'm just gonna do just plain cabbage. And I'm gonna end up just cutting it in strips. And I'm gonna get the whole cabbage head cut up. And when I do, I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, we're gonna put our cabbage that we cut up into our water to blanch it for three minutes. Okay, get it all under the water. Guys, I'll bring you back in three minutes. We're just gonna let it set like this for three minutes. And then we'll pull it out. All right, we're gonna scoop our cabbage out with a strainer. And our pan. all steamy now. All right, I'll bring you back when I get it all out. Okay, we're gonna add our cooked cabbage, or not cooked, but blanched cabbage to our jars. That's probably pretty good for right now until we put our boiling water. So we'll see where we're at. Let me just do hair more. That's probably good. Alright, we're going to do the next one. Okay guys, I'll bring you back when I get all my jars filled. This is kind of what they look like right now. Okay, I'm gonna do our salt and sugar. I'm gonna do a half teaspoon of salt. This is actually sugar and a half teaspoon of sugar in each jar. And if we have enough, I may have enough for another jar, but I want to do these and see if I need to add to these once I add the boiling water. All right. So let me get some water and I'll bring you back. Okay. We'll pour our water in. I'm gonna do it up to a half inch head space because I'm gonna debubble. 
since it'll go down. Especially where cabbage, this is not something that's approved. It used to be in the old canning books years ago, but they don't recommend it anymore. You just, if you do it, you've got to get all of your bubbles out of the cabbage because you want everything covered and no pockets or any bacteria or anything to get into. So let me find my debubbler and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I'm going to take it and go down. I don't know if you can see that, but watch the bubbles come up as I move that around. So you want to get down everywhere, get all those bubbles loose, because they're still coming out. Push the product a little bit to push all that around. Because like I said, cabbage is a low acid food, so you want to make sure it's good and i'm gonna add a little more water to that one and it will be good that will be good to go so you can see i'm gonna do the rest of them the same way and i'll bring you back when i get ready to put the lids on All right, they're all in a canner. I'm gonna put our lid on. I'm just using my press stove today. Got it hooked down. We're gonna wait till we get steam here for 10 minutes. And when we get to that point, I'll bring you back. I don't know if you can see the steam. I won't put my hand in it. But anyway, it's been going for 10 minutes. So we're going to put the weight on at 10 pounds, and not that one. we we'll put that one on. That's the one I need for this canner. And um, we're going to let it come up to 10 pounds of pressure, and then we're going to let it process for 45 minutes for the pints. Hey guys, here's the finished product. I had six pints. Forgot to bring you back when I took them out. I was getting a little tired yesterday. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.